Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 there is trading below potential support at 69.69 as the technical indicators are slowly turning uh, slightly negative there as some uh, kind of bad news came out there at China at the weekend, their uh, inflationary data and the GDP figures um, not coming in as expected, showing that um, the world's second biggest economy uh, is potentially slowing down with no signs of any monetary stimulus uh, by the Chinese government. So a lot of Asian indices uh, coming off a fair amount uh, to start off their session and the US 30 now just trading below this potential support level here with the next potential support at 16.738. UK 100. Um, the banks are selling off a little bit this morning uh, on the back of the latest round of polls for Scottish independence on the 18th, uh, still showing kind of neck and neck. You know, some polls slightly more, some polls slightly less for independence. Um, I think the kind of poll of polls pretty much has it at 51 49 um, to a no to independence, but that is uh, very fluid and changes almost uh, every couple of hours. So, next potential support 6774, uh, which is also the 55 period SMA. Again, technicals begin to sell off a little bit. Um, should be break break 6774, then 70, uh, 6700 is the next potential support, which is quite a fair bit lower, but not broken there yet, but we have gap lower this morning. Japan 225 failed to break through uh, 15987. It broke below 15.828 and now it's kind of just on the wrong side of that line right now. And we've actually accelerated quite far away from the 21 and 55 period SMA. Next potential potential support is at 15.488. So looking at dollar yen, it's still extending its, uh, its move higher. Actually kind of gap lower this morning. Uh, still moving in the right direction though. Uh, that is another positive green candle, but we've not yet gone above the highs of, um, of Friday, uh, which was just about 107 spot 41. Um, we're still a good bit away from 110 spot 77, but that is the next potential resistance level. And it's always quite tough to get involved in dollar yen when you're in the middle of this, this huge range. And we've only been going one direction for such a number of sessions. But US dollar does feel slightly overextended right now. Uh, we're not making much uh, progress against sterling or against the euro. Uh, so I'd just be very wary of dollar yen uh, over the next couple of days in case there is a little bit of a savage pullback. It could do with a, a little bit of um, kind of steam being taken out there so it can take uh, it can retrace and then begin its next leg up if that's uh, what the fundamentals coincide with but uh, for now still trading quite close to its um, its recent highs so moving on to crude oil west texas which uh, has uh, been very volatile already this morning already getting quite close to this uh, potential support down here uh, at 91 spot 23 in fact i need to add that on there just now um, the next potential level after that is closer to 89 um, and it looks to be continued pressure on West Texas crude, even with dollar taking its foot off the, off the gas ever so slightly. Looking at gold, uh, it's also um, had a bit of pain last couple of sessions, bit of a rebound today incidentally. That will be in response to um, to that dollar slight pullback that we've had, but we're still quite close to next potential support at 12.18. Um, I wouldn't be that surprised if the, uh, if the fundamentals end up pushing this down a little bit lower, um, but we just have to wait and see was still to come. Moving on to Euro dollar, we have a, had a retracement there on Friday, but then a move back down again there today. One spot uh, 30 zero, zero will be the next potential resistance to look at, uh, and we're quite a good bit away from the next potential support, probably around about 128 spot 60. And to finish up with GBP USD as we get closer to that Scottish referendum, we have rebounded all the way back up to one spot 62.65, which is the potential resistance. And you'll be able to see from Thursday, Friday, and today that resistance is still holding. Um, but we are making lower, uh, sorry, higher lows there on the candles. So it might be the case that we might actually be able to break up higher and we challenge one spot 64 or 63, but we've not broken it yet. So in regards to economic data, there's not really a huge amount out today. Um, so we have to fast forward on to Tuesday to see what's going on. We do have the consumer price index, CPI and R, uh, RPI for the UK. That'll be interesting for, for cable. Albeit it might be quite muted because of the uh, Scottish independence vote. And then you've got the ZEW business report for Germany, which would be big for your dollar and the DAX, with the Germany 30. And then Wednesday, you do have a whole bunch of UK data again. And then European CPI and then US CPI as well. And then obviously crude oil inventories and then um, the, the Fed fund rate as well. So um, you do have quite a big week this week in regards to um, the monetary policy uh, from Janet Yellen and the rest of the Federal Reserve that's due on the you know, 16th, 17th, so Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, I think we're giving more uh, indication if there's going to be an early rate hike um, at the end of 2014 or not. 
So there's actually a lot of fundamental factors that are going to be implemented to markets this week and obviously culminating with that Scottish independence vote. Maybe you won't actually find out until until Friday what that vote is by the time they count all the details, um, but it promises to be quite an exciting week. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.